The Lord be with you, beloved pillar community. I hope you're well. Uh, my children have been watching these devotionals, at least a couple of them, and they tell me I need to hold my phone higher so that my chin doesn't turn into a double chin like this. They were quite concerned, so I'll, I'll try to do better. We've been gathering around uh, the first two verses of Psalm 62. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. My intention is to just walk through those two verses, essentially word by word. Then at this point, we come to the word wait. For God alone, my soul waits. It's not my strongest gift, waiting. For the most part, if I want something, I go get it. If something needs to be done, I go do it. I don't like to wait. This is an interesting season of waiting for us. It's one thing to wait when you know the end date, the end time. Uh, it's one thing to wait as a kid for Christmas. You make the paper chain and you rip one off every day and each day gets closer and closer to what you've been waiting for. It's one thing to wait as an engaged couple for the wedding day. Whenever the day is, you, you, you make your plans, you do what you need to do, and you wait, but you know when the end will be. This is a different kind of waiting for us right now. We're waiting and we don't know the end, I'm asked with some regularity. So what do you think? Will we, will we worship together again after Easter? When, what, maybe mothers? I don't know. I've had to learn to say, I don't know. It's harder to wait when you don't know the end. It's harder for the single person to wait for their wedding day when they aren't engaged, they're not dating. Waiting takes on a different shape. It opens us to the very thing the psalmist has in mind for God alone. My soul waits. It invites us to be honest with ourselves and with each other about the very things we're waiting for and the kind of the value that we put on them and place on them, each of them only ultimately pointing to the larger, greater, more significant waiting for God to come, for God to come and to make it right, for God to come and to make it new, for God to come and restore and reconcile and redeem and renew. And Jesus makes it clear we don't know when. No one knows when, even Jesus himself, only the Father, and so we wait. And in the waiting, I invite you to be honest with yourself. What are you really waiting for? Are you really waiting for the opportunity to go back to school? Are you really waiting To gather together again as a church community, are you really, what are you really waiting for? For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. The peace of the Lord Christ be with you, pillar.